finish the half. Absolutely. And the pass over the middle, and that's Stevens, and he's going to drop that one, and that's going to write an end to it. And you're exactly right, John. The first half was a mess at the end. The end of this drive was a mess for Seattle's offense. But how about Bill Cowher? You talk about coaches, and I said earlier his yeah, but, yeah, but he hasn't won the big one. Yeah, but he hasn't won the Super Bowl. He's won it today. You bet. His daughters are there. And that's always been the thing. You're right, John. It's the whole, it's that yeah, but thing. You know, his wife Kay, Bill Cowher, a great coach, a lot of wins, titles, gets to the Super Bowl, but now he's going to hoist the Lombardi Trophy. And I tell you, they live with that. Can't win the big one. You always go to Hawaii. You know, you're always coaching the Pro Bowl. You're never in the Super Bowl, and then you have to just kind of stay there and take it. But they, they'll never be able to say that about Bill Cowher again. And what a, what a run. As they'll end it on a kneel down, Paul Amolo will be the safety down here. And the Pittsburgh Steelers, seven and five. And Wooden made the playoffs two months ago. Run the entire table with eight wins, regular and post. All of them in postseason on the road. Bill Cowher was saying that he wanted to get this one to give owner Dan Rooney his fifth Super Bowl ring. He did that. And finally, finally, after those four Super Bowl wins in the 70s, one of the great dynasties in the history of sports, they finally, in 2005, the 2005 season, on February 5th, 2006, they finally get the one for the thumb. You know, and this feeling is so great. I and mean, if you're a player, you're a, I know what Bill Cower is feeling and thinking right now. He is just soaking in this moment. It doesn't get any better than this. You're the Super Bowl champion forever. And you had what, so many big plays. One was the penalty on Sean Locklear without overlooking that that negated what would have been a first and goal for Seattle and a possible lead, leading to the interception by Taylor, leading to the Ward touchdown pass, leading to the 11-point lead, leading to the victory. Pittsburgh wins it by a score of 21-10, to 10, the Cadillac postgame show, followed by Gray's Anatomy. Coming up next here on ABC, the Pittsburgh Steelers are the Super Bowl champions. will be by shortly our trophy presentation in a moment Grey's Anatomy coming up what a great storyline Jerome Bettis coming home to win Bill Cowher getting the elusive Super Bowl the Steelers winning all these road games to advance to the Vince Lombardi trophy now to the PA announcer Alan Roach for the trophy presentation ladies and gentlemen please welcome Super Bowl one and two MVP Bart Starr and the Vince Lombardi trophy Pittsburgh has its one for the thumb. At this time, we'd like to bring up the commissioner of the National Football League, Mr. Paul Tagliabu, to present the Vince Lombardi Trophy to the Rooney family again. Dan and Art, with today's victory, your proud franchise joins the Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers as one of only three teams in the history of the National Football League to have won five Super Bowls. And your family has been at the helm for each of those championships. And congratulations to you, to Coach Cowell, all of your players, and all of the Steelers fans around the world. The 
Mr. Rudy, how does it feel to have the trophy back in the Steel City? Oh, it, uh, it's wonderful. I could say that's where it belongs to. It belongs to these players right out here who have done a marvelous job, and Coach Cower and his staff. It's just been marvelous, and we're so thrilled to bring that back to Pittsburgh. Congratulations, Mr. Rudy. Bill Cower, Super Bowl champion coach. I, I've been waiting, I've been waiting a long time to do this. Mr. Rudy, this is yours, man. Let's hand it back to Coach Cower for a second so you can enjoy your moment, Coach. Grew up rooting for the Steelers, grew up watching the Steelers and the dynasty that it is, and now you're responsible with your team to bring the trophy back. How can you feel your emotions as described? You know what, Mike? It's almost surreal right now. But I'm going to tell you what. We came in this training camp. This is a special group of coaches, a special group of players. I was one small part of this, trust me. These guys were so resilient. And this staff, this group, the support staff, we got a special organization that starts at the top. And I can't be more happy for Mr. Rooney, for the players, for the coaches, and for the city of Pittsburgh. We you know, you know. You know, we are proud of the team in the 70s. But we now got our own little Mitch right now with this group right here. So, you know, we're taking this baby back home and we're going to enjoy everything about it. Sure. Congratulations, Coach. We have the most valuable player here, the most valuable player of Super Bowl 40, joining the legacy of great players, named the Super Bowl MVP, Heinz Ward. <laughs> Tell me about the big play that you can ask Juan Rancho, but all the perfect guys to uh, make the game deciding play in the end. Yeah, there's no question. I couldn't have did it without my teammates. Uh, offensive coordinator, Ken, and my receiver coach, Bruce Arians, they, they called a uh, great play at the right time, and the offensive line did their job blocking, and Antoine, where you at, Antoine? He threw a hell of a ball, man. He, 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 I'm glad to have him, and uh, they went for a touchdown to help our team win the Super Bowl. Well, all the MVPs were introduced before the game. You joined that group forever, and you know what the MVP means. It means you get to ride around Antoine and the rest of your teammates with some sweet wheels. Over there, 2007, one of the first 100 off the line. Brand new Cadillac Escalade. Got some keys for you, Heinz. Keys MVP, Heinz Ward with the 2007 Cadillac Escalade. And before we go, I think Detroit wants to say hello to the Bucks. to feel it feels incredible I mean my teammates you know they, they put me on their backs and they made sure that uh, they wouldn't let me down every step of the way these guys were tremendous I mean they just uh, they brought it home for us and uh, Detroit you were incredible Pittsburgh here we come is this the last stop for the bus you know what it's been an incredible ride and it's always a, a time when you have to call it quits and uh, I played this game to win a championship. I'm a champion, and I think the bus is uh, the last stop is here in Detroit. Well, it's home, fifth leading rusher, Super Bowl champion. Congratulations on a great career. Thank you. Congratulations, Detroit, on a great Super Bowl. Congratulations to the world champion, Pittsburgh Steelers. And we send it back to Chris Berman. Chris. All right, Mike, and the bus stops here, huh? You could not write a better story. Congratulations to Jerome Bettis, Heinz Ward, Bill Cower, the Rooney family, the Steelers.